Okay, let's get rolling. Welcome in 2023, guys. Uh, February 26th. This is our first video for this year. First of all, I just wanted to thank all of my followers and those who like my video. You know, those who like every content that I post there. You know, my videos or, or, or podcasting. You know, all my big pictures. You know, those who like and, and comment. You know, to you all enough on YouTube, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, and in other platforms. I, I will appreciate that, guys. I will appreciate you know, your act of kindness. I will appreciate you know that uh, that consideration. You know that value that you know you give me. You know when you only like. You know you only sometimes share. You know it's it really helps. You know I'm I'm so indebted unto you. you know, for doing those gestures. So I definitely welcome you in 2023. You know this year let it be a good year for each and one of you. You know let it be so productive you know, in your work and in everything you do. You will find out that it has been a while you know, since the, the last time I posted a video. It might be in different platforms. You know, just go back, check it out. You find out it has been a while. I, think, I don't even remember the, the last time I posted you know a kind of video or uh, an image in any of you know the four or three platforms that I have. So the th the, the problem was you know I had a lot of things. You know I had clients. You know I had small project. You know I had big. But not really considerably big, but uh, you know, project that were requiring a lot of time. You know, that's why I was unable to put on any content. You know, on my respective platforms. And I apologize for that, but I uh, know, you know, you you will understand and, and abide with what I, I did. You know, so finally, the other side was that I had exams. You know, I had to write my exams. You know, because um, I do both at the same time. I work and I study, so it's not a, an easy task. It's really, you know, kind of, kind of a bumpy ride. But the thing is, you know, we ride with it with both of them. So it's uh, it has been good. And then uh, now, after you know a little pause, I'm back with you guys. So I'm gonna take it through. This year, it's just gonna be awesome because I've been receiving, you know, a lot of uh, project proposals from clients. So. I'm gonna take you through some of them, you know. From you know, we're gonna jump a little bit. We're gonna start with the biggest. We're gonna go to the bigger, and then we're gonna go to the big. So we have three steps. So I'm gonna take you through all of them for this year, and as well, we have two mechanical projects at the same time. So the thing is, we're gonna have a lot to do this year. You know, uh, we're gonna have different things to do. And, and and in the same way, in in the same manner. I'm not forgetting, so we had a project last year called uh, ILK Residence Building. So I haven't forgotten about those who, you know, were, were eager to see me finishing that project, to, to see me accomplishing, you know, to bring the project to a full accomplishment. The project is still there. I'm still definitely working on it. Maybe our third video, before the third video, uh, video on this project, I will do. I will doing the continuation of that that one, so that you know you you will be tuned, you know, and not uh, be left behind. Above all, I bless the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So, so this is a DWG file that I had imported from AutoCAD to AutoCAD. So what I did, you know, I use this as a reference, you know, a, 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 a plan. So. Let's open my AutoCAD and see what I'm talking about. So this is the plan. Let me double click on it. It's going to open. So for my 2D drafting, I use AutoCAD. It, depending on the project type. So the thing is, you know, I, I, I mostly, mostly I use AutoCAD, but sometimes you, 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 you find me using Visio or, or eDraw or let's say rarely you know to see me use uh, AutoCAD you know for for my 2D drafting AutoCAD that I use for my 2D you know drafting and, and the project conception so the thing is I work with the principles what, what do I mean you know I work with the principles so there's a 
a few rules of principle that are, are always applied in mass building conceptions in in my 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 work so and, and even uh, the way i utilize my software so the uh, the conceptual is, is is very simple i play with uh, these three words master student and slave so things for the moment we, we don't have much time so so i will expand that concept in upcoming videos that i will be posting you know on different pr platforms you know you understand you know how i use my card programs but for the moment i cannot uh, you, know, you know explain and take you through everything because i said i said here from first to fifth floor so this plan goes from the first to the fifth floor and on the sixth floor i think we'll open the sixth floor it's a different one you see this one goes from the sixth to the ninth floor so and on the tenth floor as well there has to be a different one so this one goes from the 10th floor to the 12th floor. So these are the DWG. So the things to import a, a DWG or a, let's say an external file uh, on uh, Atika, it's very easy. You go to file like this, you go to file, you go to enter operability here. You, you, you have an over merge and from merge you see either you want to merge from a, a, a beam a cloud or you want to merge from a file so you, you choose file then definitely is going to take you to maybe a, a, you know a directory a file directory so mine it took me automatically to you know to autocad so these are the, 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 the different section of the complex so we're gonna have the building itself. We're gonna have the, the left building, the right building. So, so the build, the, I mean the center building. Sorry, there they will be the center building. There will be the left building. There will be the right building. So from here, you just click. Let's I'm taking, let, let's take an example. Let's, let, let's say left because we are looking, we're working on the left. But I click on left. I say uh, I make sure that it's a DWG, not other version, only a DWG. So I click on open. It opens it, it, it tells me what do you want to do. I say no, I want to merge because this is an Archicad uh, file already that has been built. So I want my DWG to be an XRF in Archicad. So I just merge it. I say okay, I want, I want it to be merged. I click OK. The file sits the file uh, located by another application. So the thing is, it, what it meant is this: the, that you know, you know what I mean. You already, you know, had imported this file already, so there is no need to import it again for the second time. So what? Because the thing is, if I didn't import it, what will happen? There will be a dialog box after clicking on OK. And then to give you a little bit of references, but I will definitely gonna take you through that process maybe in the next session. Maybe the third one, yeah. Maybe on the third one, I will take you through the process. I mean, uh, the process of importing a DWG or other files, you know, to Archicad. So for for the moment, this is the way. This is how you do it. So the thing is, on that dialog box, the most important thing is because it's going it's going to give you different coordinates based on the scale that you used when you know uh, doing your your drafting with uh, um, AutoCAD so the main important things on that dialog box that are, that always attract my attention there's an empty little box there it's a, a, a tick box so the thing is it it, it will ask you do you want to import this file as uh, a DDL file or as you know you know just an XRF the way the way it, it was uh, drawn you know, no, uh, you know, with uh, your your card software. So the thing is, if you tick that box saying that you want to import, you know, uh, your your external file or your re reference file as a DDL uh, file, mean that uh, you won't be able to edit that file. It will come as a DDL you know, object, so you won't be able to edit it. But the thing is, if you untick that box, you will be able to edit your file and do, uh, you know, you know, as I did. You can see that, you know, there's, there's only, if I click on, on cancel, you see, let's see. It's too small to validate, okay, okay, no problem, no problem. So, the, the things you, you, you can see here, you know, you, you, you can see, you can see that there are no more aligned. So, there are not, there's only one, 
you know, drawing, you know, per level. There's only one XRF. There's one here. But if I go back on my DWG file, you see that there are line three of them. So if you tick that box, you won't be able to edit your XRF. So do not tick that box. Leave it the way it is. Don't import it as a DDL object. Otherwise, I promise you, you won't be able to edit anything. Because here, you know, I can edit it. You can, as you can do a lot of things with it. I can remove, I can add, you know, I, I can definitely completely, you know, erase everything and do some something. But this is not what we're going to do, right? So that is what it's about here. So let's uh, cut the story short. So what, what I'm going to do here after uh, importing it then, I'm going to use the DWG as a reference because it's already a reference file, right? So we're going to trace over it for the sake of time. That's how mostly I work. When I, each and every time I use AutoCAD to do the drafting or another card and import that card either on SketchUp or, 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 or uh, vector work, you know, it might be, you know, uh, uh, ArchiCAD because uh, uh, for my architecture project, I use vector work, ArchiCAD and SketchUp. You're going to tell me, but Jerry, don't you use uh, Revit? I'm going to say, no, man, you know why Revit? Okay, it's a, it's a long story. We're going to talk about it, you know, in upcoming, you know, sessions. But for the moment, those are the three software that I, I use. Vectorwork, Agicad, and SketchUp. To me, they are the best. I don't need anything else. You know, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm into my enclosure, so I don't want to, you know, move out of my enclosure. That's where I stand. You know, I don't want to move from, from there. I know that Revit is, is, is good, Revit is fine, but for me, what works personally to me is those three software. That's what I use. The sh story short, we're going to talk about Revit. I'll tell you why I will not use Revit. So, what I did here, let's go Control L to open, you know, the layers. Uh, I'm sure you are familiar already with uh, uh, my layer combinations. You know, they're all here. Uh, the same layers of the last project, they're all here. We, we just want to tweak them a little bit based on what we have here. So let me just close it. And my building uh, material, it's, it's here. You know, the all material that I need to work on, no, they're, they're, they're all here. Whatever I need to do, what you do, what I need to, to choose they are all here and the thing is the most fascinating about this is uh, uh is the composite of material when it comes to composite there are a lot there are a lot of composite of material as you can see you know the, of, of different type so this is how i arrange you know this is this is what is the content of my template and the other thing is that we close a little bit you know and uh, I tell, okay i'll take it to my material you know? My textures and the uh, different materials I use, you know, they, they are all here. They're, it's filled and full, you know. It's, 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 it, it, it has what it takes for me to finish a full project. So this is what we're going to use. These are the, material, the materials that we'll be having hands on until we finish uh, our project. So I'm going to close it. So we we'll start the tracing part. So let's start tracing now so okay so things let's go to composite here uh, okay on composite i'll choose my wall type they are all composite walls here that will choose uh, this one the 140 blocks uh, is it 140 blocks 12 bricks insulated card the tw plastic with stone finish so i'm gonna choose it so the thing is, you're going to say, oh, but Jerry, man, come on, the thickness of this wall is big, man, it's very huge, 44. I'll tell you, man, 44, is, it's even less, man. I remember our work on a project, you know, the, the, the external, you know, the wall of that building was 50. It was definitely 50 centimeters. Imagine how big that, that, that was. So, and mostly, the, the, the composite, you know, you know, walls, you know, composite wall, you know, you know, involves a, a lot of things, you know, involve a, 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 you know, it, it definitely involves a lot of materials, like you, you can see here. So I have my stone here, I have my, my, my pasta, a gray, a gray uh, gypsum, I have my concrete block structure, I have my insulation, uh, plastic hard, I have, you know, my, my brick structure, I have a plaster for the inside. So this is the wall that I'm going 
to use him. I click on it. Okay. So, so this is so so this is our world, world tab, right? So just click on. Okay. Let's go to our world. I think world. Yes, it's a composite world. Come down here. I look for the 44 one. There it is. All right. Click on it. My world is already activated. What I do next? We have to create our layer. Put that wall on something, right? So let's come here. Let's look for for core. I call it core because you're gonna say, but core it's 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 it's, 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 it's the middle layer. Yes, I know it's the middle layer. <laughs> that is the best name I found to, to, to call it. So let's say let's call it a uh, core external wall first floor, right? Yeah, let's give it this layer. And I'm gonna activate my layer combination, the processing one. Yeah. Good. So I'm gonna give it this layer first floor, external core. Then I say, okay, I click on it. I'm not gonna activate for the for the moment in any graphic override yet. No, let it be like that. I'm gonna keep my model of view as uh, architecture plan full. I'll keep it there. Then I will leave my pen set as uh, SAT 50. I'll tell it to give it uh, architecture. Yeah, it, 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 uh, architecture. It has it, it has to be entire model then i have my layer combination here my scale always 150 because the project is very huge so i keep it with the 150 my scale it depends how i want to zoom in and zoom out so let's start twice tracing around so we are having here check it again you see gave me a structural retaining wall not only the structural retaining wall i need to take me to core i always finish with my fetish phrase never settle go make things happen Doodles!